Press the buzzer. Yes, yes, so hell is here. Today we are back with a Diana and Kudinova reaction and this is yodel time. I did a recent reaction to Home Free and in that there was yodeling. I loved it. It was a very, very fun song, a fun video, a great cover of a famous song. So do check out that reaction if you want to see a great fun bit of music. Today though, it's time for a Diana reaction. Yodeling is on my mind. I've received many requests for this one for yodel time. The comments have let me know that she was about 13 in this performance. Now, I don't know any song called yodel time, but some comments let me know of the original song. So I went and listened to it. Again, I think it's very fun. <laughs> That's by a Swiss singer, and as we can see by the lyrics on the screen now, there are lyrics in both French and German, which is very fitting for a Swiss song, and some English as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. <laughs> All right, this is fun, isn't it? Very, very fun. Let's do a stop here. There are quite a few things that I want to talk about. So if you don't want to hear my analysis, go to the timestamp here. So as usual, let's start with the key. She's singing in the same key as the original song. And it's pretty much got the same backing track as well. <laughs> Diana's version seems to have a heavier accordion sound. At least the top part, that single line we're hearing. So my first thoughts when she starts singing, we get this immediate crescendo into the sound. It's such a direct sound. And that's in her chest voice, her full voice. Immediate power behind the voice. And it's that unique voice of hers. Here it's not quite that. A polyphonic type sound that we've heard previously. It, it kind of is, but in a different way. The word that comes to mind about this sound <laughs> is metallic. Maybe you know what I mean by that, maybe you don't. I'm not sure I can really explain, but either way, it's very, very interesting. Maybe it comes from the open la 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 sound, because then she changes her vowel sound to a lo lo. So, from the opening phrase with no lyrics, we've heard a fair bit of her capabilities already. Dynamic control, quiet to loud, power, and a unique tombra. So we get the first judge showing these hand simmer movements. And then the second judge is questioning whether she's going... I was going to say that this seems silly, but let's actually listen a couple more times with eyes closed. It kind of does sound a little bit like la, 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 la. So there is some sense in what he's doing there. This is a testament, I think, to Diana's unique sound and how she's able to manipulate her voice into these weird sounds that we're not used to hearing as coming out of a human voice. And at 13 years old only as well. And this note too, it sounds bizarre. <laughs> that note. That's more similar to some of the sounds produced the first time I ever heard her sing. If you want to see that card for that will be up here. And it's a shame that we can't see Diana in the video at this point. But if I were one of these judges, that opening section that we heard, that would have made me press the buzzer. You know, what a unique sound. So I don't know if the judges would know this song, Yodel Time. I don't know if it's a famous song or not. But we hear in French, Mon amour c'est la Suisse. Mon amour c'est la Suisse. 
which is saying my love is Swiss, my love is Switzerland. And then the next line, German. Meine Leidenschaft, das Jodel, my passion, yodeling. And the accompaniment as well, we can think of in three parts. We've got these rapid repeating chords. We have the swing bass as well, which is syncopated. And the most prominent accordion part, the higher part that we spoke about earlier, that sounds a bit heavier than the original song. So they must be thinking, what is going on with this song? There's this fun accompaniment and the song is being sung in multiple languages. And then the song suddenly kind of perks up a bit. So the judges must be again be thinking, oh, what's that? What's happening here? What's happened is now we're in common time. So we're thinking in terms of four beats. One, two, three, four. Where each of those beats is subdivided into two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's common time. Previously though, in the opening section, we were in compound time. So we still have four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four. But each of those beats is now subdivided into three instead of two. Her la la las are a perfect demonstration. One, two, three, one, two, three, la 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 la. It's funny because in the introduction I mentioned the Home Free song. They changed the meter as well from Common Time, as is the original song, I'm all about the bass, about the bass. to Compound Time. I'm all about the bass, about the bass. Here though with Deanna, the yodeling starts when we move to Common Time. So the first set of yodels that she does, the top note is always the same. She returns to the same notes each time. It's very obvious, it's this, and then. On her melodic descent that follows, the top notes of the yodels, they were a bit less obvious. There's more emphasis on the lower part of her melody that's sung in her chest voice, her full voice. See the top yodels there, it's a bit more difficult to hear the pitch. So she's really growing into that descending melody. All right, and this is where we got to, so let's carry on. I'd love to be able to yodel like this. Press the buzzer. Okay, I, I watched the rest of the video. There's another couple of minutes. I haven't included that. But we will come back to that later, so do keep watching. Let's first just go over some of what we've heard there musically in that second half. So one thing I noticed is how she's moving around the stage a lot. You know, she's having so much fun with it. And that's the main thing, to have fun. It's a very, very energetic performance. And because of the moving around, when you're this young and small physically and you haven't built up a proper physical support yet, it can make your voice a little bit shaky naturally because you're moving around. Here's an example. Everybody in the world but it's a shame that the judges have not turned around. They can't see this. They can't see her moving around enjoying the performance. And I think that contributes a lot to the performance. They should have turned around at the start. They should have pressed the buzzer. You know, here, if we take the vocal line, we isolate it. Yeah, it's, it's not the strongest, it's not the most accurate. So again, it's a shame that they're facing away. I think they should have pressed the buzzer and then they can be watching her 
enjoying herself going around. All right, enough of that. There was this bit I thought was interesting. Yeah, just here, the keyboardist. The video looks to be in sync with the music, at least Diana is, what she's singing we can hear. But I cannot hear anything that correlates to the right hand of the piano, the keyboard. So I just thought that was quite interesting. Here she implements something that really makes this nice melodic line work against the chromatic music we're hearing underneath her. So we have this chromatic rise in the accordion. And if we compare that to the original song, the melody is sung fairly normally. Diana, she's much more exaggerated here with the swells into each note. Yeah, I think it's a very nice counter to the chromatic rise underneath. Then a bit after that, we get that soul moment from her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This reminds me of It's a Man's 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 World. And then just after this, they've changed up the arrangement quite a bit from the original song. This bit that I'm about to play, it's quick. <laughs> to be able to pull off a performance of this difficulty, You know, the judges can't believe it. That should be an automatic buzzer from them. I don't understand why they didn't turn around. And again, we have another yodel section. I think quite a bit of character is added here through an imperfection. She has a little airy voice crack. It's more of an airy sound there. So people might hear that and say, oh, it's not perfect. Who cares? You know, it, it adds character. I like it. Yodeling is not easy by any means. And loads of people can yodel, but it's the pitch accuracy. That's the real challenge, hitting those notes perfectly rather than just alternating between your chest voice and your head voice. And at the end of the performance, she's still so happy, even though they didn't turn around. And here, I think she's saying like a, a formal way of saying hello in Russian. Well, we don't end here. In case anyone has not seen the rest of this video, the judges say they had a difficult time pressing the buzzer because they didn't know what song they'd give her next. So they ask her to sing another song, which she does. <laughs> So whilst I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't press the buzzer during her yodel time performance, you know, I think that's a poor excuse saying, what song do we pick next? I kind of understand where they're coming from. But at the same time, if you hear a voice like this, a voice like Diana's, I think you should just press the buzzer. Well, there we go, yodel time. That was a very, very fun one. I just think all yodel performances, at least the few that I've heard, they always seem to be fun. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of skill to do that, especially so young. All right, let's leave that there. Thank you, as always, for watching. Would appreciate a like and subscribe. If you enjoy my content, want to support me, join the community and vote on future polls, you can do so by joining the YouTube membership or Patreon linked below. And I will see you next time.